Hey everybody, it's Chad from Moose Kale Adventure. Excited today to show you uh, a package I got in today. Uh, had a company uh, called Bose RV get a hold of me and sent me out uh, a new set of crossbars. Uh, they asked me if I would check them out, uh, test them out, and see how they see how they fit the Cherokee and how they uh, held up to a load. So, hey, before we get going, let's do a little housekeeping. All right, so uh, Bose RV is not paying me to do this. They uh, sent me the uh, Send me the crossbars to check out and ask me to do a video on them, but they aren't paying me to do the video. I will put a link in the description below to these crossbars, so if you're interested, you can go there, click on the link, and check them out. Now, if you do end up buying them through that link, I will receive a small commission for that, as well as anything uh, on my affiliate links. So, uh, just wanted to put that out there so that you know. So, Bose RV is a company that sells uh, quite a few different things. They sell things like solar panels, portable fridges. They sell rooftop carry bags, things like that. So they've got a wide range of, of stuff that they sell. But uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look at these crossbars, all right? do this a little bit uh, you know I, I do want to compare these to my to my old crossbars uh, just because it gives you re it kind of give you an idea of why I wanted to go ahead and change crossbars but uh, so I'm going to show you uh, show you my Omec ones that I've been running for let's see a little over a year now and we'll get into the Bose RV ones and what I like about them versus the Omec yeah then also we're going to get into the install I want to show you how they work how you install them and then actually before that, probably going to go ahead and show you a little trail footage because I know people like to see the trail footage. But that'll show you uh, show you how they how they held up to the trail. Okay, so so let's let's look at it as uh, uh, comparison, trail footage, install. Sound good? Sound good? Oh, sound good? Don't lick me in the face. All right, let's get to it. All right, I want to start by talking about the Omex. So these. These were only, you know, like, I don't remember, like $69, $89, something like that. Probably like $89. Bought them from Walmart.com. You know, they're not, they're good. They're not bad. So within the first month of owning them, I lost the cap off the end. So that's what it ought to be like. Minus cap. Hopefully you can see it all right. But minus cap. What that caused was a lot more wind noise. So now when I run them up on top, it's, uh, it's really loud. So that's kind of... Don't care much for it. The other thing is, is they take quite a while to put on and off. It's really more of a, more of a process. It's got several rubber pieces that, that like to fall out. Right now I've got it all hooked together, but uh, you know, it just takes a while. And the way I use mine, I don't keep them on all the time. So I want it to be more of a speedy on off. You know, I don't want to have to take uh, 15 minutes to put on my crossbars to then put on my basket to then load up my basket So something I can just slap on and something I can just easily remove So that's one thing that got me interested in these Bose RV uh, Crossbars, so let's take a look at those now So right off the bat with these you're gonna notice a nice clean design uh, very aerodynamic like thin uh, they are rated at 160 pounds so you know, they're thinner than the others. The others feel a little, a little, uh, a little more stout, but I don't know. That feels pretty solid. It's in there flexing on it. As far as ease of use, so they send you a little uh, Allen wrench. They're pretty simple to use. Right here, I've already got it loosened up, but you loosen this up, boom, 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 and then that just flexes out. All right, slap it down. Twist it, and then you're just tightening up that that Allen screw. Okay, real simple. Now, one little uh, bit of advice. You'll see that's your adjustment there. You got the two screws in there that your Allen key fits. You just loosen those up, and you can slide. It, okay. Now, whenever you uh, 
go to install them. Put this down on your on your uh, rails. Okay. Find that that link that needs to be at. Flip it over, and then tighten it up. Okay. Then flip it over. Then you can tighten this up on your crossbars, and you'll be good. I say that because if you try to slap it down on your rails, find your length, and then you try to tighten it from underneath, it's going to be a pain to do it that way because you're going to be up against the hood of your Jeep. Okay. All right, so other than that, details with these, uh, they're very uh, user-friendly. Uh, they tell you which this side faces front, you know. Uh, they have, so that sticker, if it comes off, you still have a little L there for left, and then the other side has a right. So user-friendly, I'd have to say. All right, so we're out on the trail and wanted to give these crossbars a good test. Uh, so we got to... And there is something heading our way. Yeah, there's UTVs, you can hear them. But, so we wanted to give this uh, these crossbars a good test. So, got to kind of load it up. We've got, uh, I've got the spare tire up there. My Plano oh. box, which is, oh, about halfway full. So nothing too crazy, but it's got a it's got a fair weight. So we're gonna head down the trails and we're gonna see uh, how well these crossbars can hold up to a little weight. All right, so we got everything loosened up. Let's get it on. So. Okay. You got them off of it? Despicable? Uh, means e kind of not evil, but disgusting. Uh, not like despicable. Let's see. That's sounds about right. It's kind of a combination of. Uh, when you put multiple things together. Why? Who's despicable?
All right, so, uh, you know, they've got a little bit lower profile. Look at this, look at this. A little bit lower profile than the last ones. Look at what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna fall on your face, little guy. All right, yeah, you. So, they got a little lower profile. Uh, they're, they're, I like the thinness of them. All in all, at this point, I like them a lot better than my old ones, my OPEC ones. I'll run them a while, see if I, see if I still like them. If I do, this will be what I'm running. So hey, uh, you know, obviously I'm uh, I'm on my roof here. Got my crossbars on here, got the roof basket up here, and just kind of strapping everything down. Uh, just kind of wanted to show you, you know, this this is what I put my crossbars through. So, so far, they've been solid. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts on the Bose RV. Uh, crossbars so we've been running them out on the trail today and I don't see any issues with them at all so that's a that's a big plus I'll say I've been running it for a little over a week now and that's with the basket and all that up there and so far I it's strange but I actually get a little bit of fuel mileage and it's quieter with these versus my old ones which um, honestly was something I didn't expect so I like that. I'm, I'm glad to, always glad for less noise and more fuel economy. So that's one thing I've noticed, but they appear to have held up and be holding up to the weight really well, as you can see. So yeah, personally, I would have to recommend them. Um, I had my concerns on durability uh, just because they're thinner and I was worried about the possible weight um, being an issue with them. They're rated 160 pounds and they seem to be solid. Like you saw, I was up on the roof rack. Yeah, like I said, I was up on the roof rack. It was fine and they seem to be holding up on the trails. So the Bose RV.